Hello, Bob Hughes here with JD Squared. In this video, we're going to talk about jobs. Now, these are present in version 3 and greater in our software. It doesn't matter if you've got a plasma, wood router, rotary cutter. Jobs are pretty much jobs. All right. What we have in front of us, however, is version 3 software running on a mad plasma. I've gone ahead. I've started. I've powered up the machine. I've homed it. I've loaded in our program right here. And I've set these cut conditions over here, mild steel, 10 gauge, etc. But I'm using a factory setting. If I go to a lower quality setting, you'll see the cut feed jump up to 164 bring it back to five it goes down to 100 if you pick these are standard settings that will come with your torch that we supply with the machine now if you're ready to cut this you're off and running but let's just say you made a few changes to it or something and um, for instance let's say you want to cut this part out of corrugated metal you're going to have to change the cut height right here and i'll show you why real quick Let's just go to my example here, and this is a little quick drawing I made up, and it's going to demonstrate the problem with cutting corrugated with the factory settings. This red tube right here represents the 60 thou cut height that hypertherm or thermodynamics, they're all about the same, recommends to cut this metal. Well, you can see if we came down and we're cutting, as we go nearer to the corner right here, we're going to hit the torch right here before we're there. So by the time we get there and we go up, you could see that if we were at the right cut height, we're well into the material. So obviously, we're going to have to increase the cut height in order to cut corrugated steel. Now, it's either do that or you don't cut at all. So what we did or what Devin did was figure out or decide that we need to store all these settings because if you every time you're going to cut this particular piece that it was made to be cut out of corrugated you had to remember all your settings that's going to get old pretty quick so what we what we've got here is let's say we change the cut height to 0.15 okay 150 thou instead of 60. What happened, this went from a quality setting, remember it was at 5, which now I put it back to 60. Those are the factory settings. As soon as I change this to 150, it goes to custom. Now, we could change other items. We could change the voltage. We could change the feed rate. Um, let's raise it to 200, which is not a practical feed rate, but I just want you to see the numbers change. Now... Once we have this dialed in, we need to save it. And what a job does, it saves the program and your settings right here into a single file. It does not alter, it does not um, change your original program, it doesn't change any of the factory settings. It just takes this particular setup and says, this is a special case, let's store them in a, a single file. Now, it doesn't have to be a single case. If you don't want to enter your settings, if, you're, if you know you're cutting 16 gauge or whatever, every time you open this program then don't import the file um, or after you've got it all set up save it as a job so in this case we're going to go ahead and save it and let's just save it um, it saved it under the program name but I'm going to pick another name um, so we're going to save as we're just going to call it test one okay so we're on test one now now what happens look what happens when we pick open job I don't want to save it I just did it if I pick like the uh, the f1 uh, the F1 restart example right here. Notice how my settings have gone back to quality five, 60 thou cut height. These are the factory settings that I had for that job. Even though there's nothing special about this, we just imported this drawing, set our cut settings, cut it out. But, but this time I had saved it as a job. So when I opened that program, I didn't have to do any of that again. All I need to do is power up my machine, set my work origin and hit the go button it's a real time saver but let's go back to our test um our other one that we had done and voila there it is let's move that over there and now you can see we've gone back to our custom our increased cut height we could now say hey run and we're off to the races you know anyway that is literally all there is to jobs just remember it doesn't reset it doesn't erase over your original program it doesn't change any factory settings it just groups both of those items into a single file and if you change anything it's isolated to that file only and this will be a great time saver for you in the future anyway thank you for watching uh, watching <laughs> happy cutting and you have a great day